day everybody today we have a polynomial with an unknown constant term it has three integer roots for some unknown constant term and that is your hint here okay so in other words we have the roots a b and c let's call them that would mean that a cubed minus 511a plus p is equal to zero same for b and same for c we're supposed to find these even though we don't know what p is. It would be a fairly easy task if, uh, if we knew p. But we know that there is an integer such that this has three integer roots, not real roots, not complex roots, but integer roots. Now, so if they're roots, they correspond to factors, and I've done all the work here. I don't want to go through all this during the course of the video. But notice one thing that's important right here, uh, we have a zero x squared term here and it's good to explicitly write that because the sum of the roots actually present as the coefficient of x squared minus the sum of the roots um, is the coefficient of x squared or, or the it's the if it's a degree in it would be the coefficient of n minus one n minus one term okay so that's why we can say a plus b plus c has to equal to zero because literally there's a zero x squared term not visible but present in this expression all right now also if you again if you expand all this out and i'll leave it to you to do it if you want you get all the products of the pairs as the coefficient of x okay so that means we know that a b plus a c plus b c is equal to the only number in sight which is negative 511 okay so but again this is underdetermined right we have two equations and three unknowns. So how do you manage that? Well, there's fortunately this 511 will provide sort of a bound for us. Now let's take a look at how we got to some of this. What I did first of all, which is arbitrary, and you could do this any number of ways, but I, I uh, probably three or two other ways, but I factored an A out of the first two terms here. That's where I got A times B plus C, right? And then you still have the BC sitting here, right? Okay, now where in the world did we get this minus a squared. We'll notice that we can write a uh, b, b plus c would be equal to minus a if you from this condition b plus c. Equals to minus a from our very first condition. Right here, folks, and I did that because b plus c is this binomial term here. And so this becomes minus a squared plus bc, since b plus c is equal to minus a. All right. Now, when you rearrange here, you quickly see that a has to be greater than the square root of 511. Now, you could work in the other direction. It could be less than minus the square root of 511, but we're just looking for a, a solution. We're not, I'm not, I don't know how many there are, really. I know of one, actually, at this point. But I think there's two separate solutions with just where you swap around the minus signs a little bit. Now... Uh, 23 squared is what, uh, 529? So it's clear that we have to check for A that are greater than 23. Again, this has to be, this, this is clear right here why A has to be greater than the square root of 511 just based on this equality right here. All right, now, so we got to check all the A's and see if we can find B's and C's that sum to A. All right, so the very first one we'll try will be 23. Now this is equal to 18. What are we looking for, folks? We're looking for a pair of these divisors, uh, the negative versions of them that will offset 23. We'll notice that 18 and six comes pretty close. If you took minus 18 plus minus six, that's close, right? The offsetting, you see, my, we were very close, but it doesn't quite work, right? We want this to be minus 23, so it will, uh, meet the sum of the zeros equals to zero condition, okay? Now, so that doesn't work, but it, we did have a pair that came pretty close. Okay, now let's, let's check the next one, 24 squared. Well, there's none in this list either, okay? There's none in this list either uh, that come close to adding up to 24, and we're looking for a pair of them that sum up to 24 in the negative additive inverse sense, right? So we'll X this out. Okay, nothing here. And again, y'all, we just check the possibilities. There's no pair here that sum up to minus 24, okay? Now, right here, again, uh, we did the next one, 25 squared, okay? 
So 25 squared minus 511 is 114. These are all the factors of 114. And again, nothing, 19 and 13 is kind of close. 19 and 13 would be 22, and you can make both of them negative, but that doesn't offset 25, right? So we'll X this one out. Okay. Now right down here, I didn't complete this list for obvious reasons. 135. Now what would the next one be? Uh, 11. And 15 would be the next two in the list, right? Well, guess what, folks? Minus 11. And I like to write this for, for emphasis. Uh, uh, minus 15, like this, is equal to negative 26. And that's what we're looking for, right? Because it will offset this value for A, which is 26. So you see, what we have learned right here, folks, is that A is equal to 26. Uh, B is equal to, what, 11? And you can rearrange these, of course. Negative 11. And C is equal to negative 15. And y'all, by the way, that would multiply out to, I think, 4720 maybe or something, or 4270, I'm not sure. Now there's another one. Um, there's another one. You can you can if you notice here, it wouldn't. You could also try this and get the same uh, sum of zeros, right? You, a could be equal to negative twenty six, and uh, then that would mean B equals eleven, and C equals fifteen. As far as I know, those would be the only, and they would have two separate constants, just differing by minus sign. I think it's 4290 maybe, minus in, or plus. But anyway, that's not, we were just trying to find the possible answer. So these are the two, only three solutions, the only pair of solutions, if you want to call this. This is a single solution. This is a single solution. I made it simple on the instruction. I just says, uh, find, uh, find them, you know, and I probably should say find at least one or something like that. But anyway, both of these would be the answers and the constant would just be their product. Uh, change differing by sign. So I'll write these down as the only two solutions I could find. I don't think there are any others, folks, but let me know if, uh, you, have, if, you, if you can find some. Okay? Alrighty. Uh, again, uh, that is all for today. Uh, thanks for viewing.